the Lord everyone, Brother Roop here. We are in another exciting chapter and verse in the book of Acts, chapter 13, verse 15. Uh, our heroes uh, are in Anatoke and Presidia, not to be confused with Anatoke and Syria. Two different towns, two different locations. And uh, they had gone into the synagogue Saturday morning, and they're sitting in the synagogue. So, verse 15, verse 15, I'll read it to you. And after the reading of the law and the prophets and the rulers of the synagogue sent unto them, saying, Ye men and brethren, if ye have any good word of exhortation for the people, say on. Now, the Aramaic says, instead of exhortation, as you can see in my Bible here, uh, the Aramaic says comfort. If you have any words of comfort for the people, say on. So, and that was a, for synagogues back in that day, I don't think is the case today, but back in that day, synagogues were small. Uh, if you had visitors from out of town, uh, you were immediately noticed and recognized, and you were given usually the courtesy of saying something to the congregation, words of comfort, uh, words of blessing. It was a honorable thing to do for a stranger, and uh, I kind of like it myself, actually. <laughs> so, so it was a common custom back in that day. They're not doing anything out of the ordinary. Um, says, uh, rulers of the synagogue. See that comment there? Rulers of the synagogue. Uh, now, these persons, these folks were, they had the general charge of the synagogue and its service uh, to keep everything in order, to direct the affairs of the public worship. Uh, they designated the individual, individuals who would read the law and called on those who they pleased to address the people. And they also had the power of inflicting punishment, like uh, excommunication. So, it can out of the synagogue. So, uh, they're just people who uh, ruled the synagogue and made sure everything uh, went smoothly, service went smoothly. So, it says, men and brethren. Now, the Aramaic says brothers, men and brothers. And that was just the nice way, uh, nice ways of addressing them, men and brothers. Uh, my church used brothers all the time, too. So, it's just a, a nice, polite way of uh, addressing strangers. And so, Paul, being a preacher... And uh, very talkative, I'm sure. <laughs> so, <laughs> type A personality here. So he takes advantage of that, takes advantage of that invitation to uh, preach the gospel. And uh, we're going to see that starting verse 16. Paul's sermon goes from verse 16 to verse 41. Verse 16 to verse 41. So... Starting at verse 16, next verse, we will talk about Paul's sermon in that synagogue and the reaction he's going to get. <laughs> so if you like this story, if you like these videos, you can subscribe and ring the bell. And you can also feel free to make comments on what you hear. Uh, any corrections you want to make to what I say, I'm always open to that. So subscribe, make comments, and God bless you. Thank you very much.